honorable guests, distinguished professionals and practitioners, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Ronald Xu from Drainage Services Department, DSD. I'm delighted to represent uh, my team, including DSD, the contractor, Quan Lei and Jun Wo Joint Venture, and the BIM consultant, Blue Beam Limited, to present our drainage improvement works uh, at Saunga Road in Guntong. The Saunga Road Stormwater Storage Scheme is developed as an ongoing flood resilient project in the Guntong area. It is located at the existing Saunga Road playground and near the United Christian Hospital in Guntong. The major scope of this project is to build a stormwater storage tank of 64,000 cubic meter to store stormwater during heavy rainstorm, thus relieving the burden of downstream drainage system. When the stormwater in the downstream drainage system rec uh, recedes, the stormwater stored in the tank will be drained out to relieve storage space for the next rainstorm. To promote single site multiple use idea, the area above the underground stormwater storage tank will be reinstated as a public open space with various leisure facilities, including soccer's pitch, fitness station, children's playground, jogging trail, sitting out area, toilet and changing room, etc. To meet the stakeholders' expectation, we actively implement the BIM technology to streamline the design and construction process and facilitate our stakeholders to collaborate and share information with us. In order to promote the use of BIM technology in the project, our team created a BIM implement, uh, implementation principle named it DRAIN, D-R-A-I-N. This stands for DRAINI, and DRAINI is the KOL of the Drainage Services Department who helps to promote the project. R stands for representation, the social representation. It is a system of positive values, beliefs, and ideas that served to establish social benefits and promote public engagement. A stands for arrangement, the logistic arrangement. We use BIM to create the 4D program and construction sequence, which helps us to build a good understanding on the work's progress and the method statement for works construction. I stands for Industrial uh, Foundation Class, IFC. IFC is a file format used in the architecture, engineering, and construction industry to facilitate interoperability between various software applications. It is an open standard for exchanging information about building and construction data. N stands for new engineering contract. It represents the spirit of mutual trust and cooperation. Public consultation is an extremely important step if you want the project to succeed. We use the BIM software, Autodesk 3DS Max, to, rec uh, to recreate DSD's KOL as the avatar of avatar for public consultation. The avatar is then further developed into an interactive experience using Unreal Engine. Participants can play these games by using Drainy as a user avatar in Windows system or Android system to, immo to immerse themselves in the as constructed 3D virtual environment. During the project development, our team utilized this immersive and funny game to collect 
precious uh, feedbacks from the public, which allowed us to gain significant improve improvements in refining our project design. Another crucial part of our project is to embrace social inclusion. In the formulation of the project design, it is not uncommon to see the needs of the disabled persons and the elderly have been overloaded. Our team is committed to enhancing an inclusion society. We use the software Fuser to simulate the wheelchair movement in a virtual environment and examine the accessibility of every facilities to be reached by the disabled users. With this simulation, we can make necessary modifications to improve our design. For the planning of construction works, we apply BIM technology to understand the logistic of site arrangement through reviewing the master program, method statement, and working sequence for the construction and maintenance, maintenance works. It greatly improves the communication, work efficiency, and safety of each operation. The video on the left demonstrates the demolition of the existing spectator stand. The 3D simulation allows site staff and workers to understand the correct demolition procedures and promote site safety. The video, the video on the right demonstrates the maintenance operation of the desilting works in the storage tank. The simulation allows the operation and maintenance team to experience the virtual working environment and assist them in planning the maintenance works. Moving on to the topic of open beam. It is a collective appro uh, approach for us to overcome the compatibility of different software for ensuring the best quality of project design. Our team has actively implemented open beam in this project. For example, the vertical asset models were developed with Autodesk Revit. The linear asset models were developed with Autodesk Civil 3D. Finally, the structural steel models and bar bending schedules were developed with another structural software. Each model was converted to IFC format and then merged into federal model in Autodesk Navisworks. We also exported the federal uh, model to CAVE, that is Computer Automatic Virtual Environment, and projected the virtual environment inside a CAVE beam training room for the project team to experience. Last but not the least, BIM continues to serve as our single source of truth through common data environment. During the construction stage, our team has adopted Autodesk Construction Cloud as the common data environment to accommodate wide range of project participants because all project progress and deliverables are stored in a common cloud storage for the whole team to assess. All of, all of us can review the project and identity uh, and identify the pot potential risk at an early stage. If the issue is determined to have cost or time implications, the, rele the relevant beam deliverables were then used for assessing the implications. For example, the project manager and the contractor can use the simulated method statement to assess the construction risk and time implications for a working operation and keep refining it. To conclude, 
I would like to reinforce the BIM implementation, implementation principle named as DRAIN DRAIN. The principle forms a good example of integrating BIM technology in our new engineering contract, not only maximizing our efficiency, but also reducing cost and wastage, and thus improving the cost estimate. We can even get a clear 3D visualization before commencing our construction, resulting in a better understanding and collaboration with lesser construction hazard and gaining better end results. May I thank again for, uh, to everyone in the DST's, uh, DSD's project team, the contractor Kwan Lei and Jun Wo, John Venture, and our BIM consultant, Blue BIM Limited, who have paid a lot of good effort in applying BIM in the drainage project. Thank you.